All right, almost done with the introduction of module two. So the last part of module two zooms in on the financial model and your fundraising documentation. Okay, our objectives for you are to not only begin to assemble the key financial documents, but also to begin to populate that diligence folder. Now the key financial documents are profit and loss statement, your forecasts, your balance sheet, key supplier relationships, and organizational description. Some of the diligence items that you would begin populating in your diligence folder are also what is your measure of impact, uh, who are your key supplier relationships and, and contracts, do you have any employee contracts that are important, previous financing documents as I mentioned earlier, and so on. I'm showing you here in this next slide an example of a very simple profit and loss of a fictitious company called Echo Shoes. Here you have in the top part uh, and flowing down uh, the normal uh, generally accepted accounting principles for how you might record both revenue and the costs of producing that revenue, whether it's a product, service, distribution, or retail. And then beyond that, your operating expenses, both variable costs and fixed costs, as you need in order to run your company and produce those goods and services. In the end, of course, is your earning before interest and taxes, and then finally, your earning before interest, depreciation, and amortization and taxes. Behind that simple schedule in this next slide are examples which we can go into much greater detail with, uh, with both your mentors and also this summer, uh, are the schedules that feed, uh, or the portions of a, of a P&L that feed those top line numbers we showed in the last slide. This has to do with, for example, your costs of goods sold, or essentially what it costs you to build the product or service or deliver uh, the, the products that you're selling to customers and earn your net revenue. Another uh, side is an expansion of what are your operating costs. And so one of those, uh, some of those key elements that, that make up a typical company's operating expenses. So our goal for you is that you shine in your first or any serious diligence meeting, usually around two hours, with a top tier investment analyst. We don't believe at GSBI that it is enough for you to be able to stand up and make a nice 10 minute conversation about your company. We believe that in fact you want to be head and shoulders above any other investment consideration that an investor you approach might be considering and that they choose you. Part of choosing you, of course, is that you have a clear value proposition. You're able to show strong financials and forecasts. You've got a deep and demonstrated deep knowledge about both your market and market adoption, plus the pricing that you're able to command in that marketplace and some of the competitive pressures. You should be able to address uh, and, and acknowledge any risks that are inherent in your business or gaps in the operations that you have. Uh, and then finally, they want to see that you've got a team that is not only well organized, but it shows them the confidence that you can execute against a business plan. Your diligence folder is critical to have at a meeting like this because it will show that you're not only organized, but prepared. And you can begin building it incrementally, so start now. And I've already sp spoken to you a bit about what to put in those, but clearly any documents that you think an investor would want to see or any document that backs up your self-reported information about your company in an investor meeting are the kinds of things that you should put in that diligence folder. So summing up, uh, when we look at this justifiable ask and you follow the investment ready line, that investment ready starts with audited financial statements that you can show to a prospective investor, a multi-year financial projection, especially assuming funds come in from an investor and what goodness will happen from that, a break-even analysis, uh, both for profit and for cash flow. Finally, the justifiable ask, which is the sum of those and your business model, and then a complete due diligence folder. What we would like as the deliverable for module 2.3 is to begin building that diligence folder. So set it up now. You will get a diligence checklist from Andy and Cassandra, uh, and you can work with your mentors to begin identifying and dropping those documents into that 
electronic folder. All right, look forward to seeing you this summer.